Hey guys, it's Mama Bear Gina here. So I wanted to come on real quick and say hey to all of my bears. Hey, so I um, wanted to do a quick update on the Fetramine. I want to tell you guys a little story about, you know, my experience because I know there's some followers who want to know more about, you know, my success or, you know, was it a thumbs up or thumbs down, but it was definitely a success. So I did a two week update last time and the two week update talked about, you know, me being on it for two weeks and I had lost seven pounds then and I was doing it like with Weight Watchers. Well, I didn't continue with Weight Watchers much further past the thing. I think it did another week, but um, I did continue taking the Fetramine. So that was, that video was in like mid April so stay tuned like this video if you are one of my bear supporters and just sit tight and i'll be right back okay so So my experience with Fetramine. So I started Fetramine, I want to say mid-March. Or no, no, I started Fetramine in the beginning of April. Went two weeks, lost seven pounds, and then I hadn't made a video since then. So my up, I'm going to just update you on my experience with it. Because right now it's September. And if you've been following me or you watched my last video, you know um, that I... Um, You know that I am pregnant now and I am about 14 weeks today. So I found out I was pregnant, I think it was July 15th-ish. Yeah, so I was. I found out I was pregnant about July 15th. I had got home from vacation and I was about five weeks pregnant at that time. So I, and the crazy thing is, I was on I, I was prescribed Fetramine for three months. So I was in my final month of taking Fetramine. And in my second month, I was kind of spotty with it. So it kind of carried on a little bit longer than um prescribed because I well I didn't get to take it the whole three months because I um got pregnant. So um but it was going good. I would take it. Um the energy kind of like started to stabilize in like the second month. And um, the weight started to slow down, of course, because whenever you do anything with weight loss, your, your weight will slow. Uh, I wasn't working out, but um, maybe once a week. Um, I, was pretty, I was still pretty active, but no real going to the gym. So in the end, um, the last time I took my last pill was when I got home. So I was taking Fetramine. A little spotty but I was taking Fetramine still while I was pregnant for those five weeks because I didn't know I was pregnant but they checked the baby everything is all right so there's nothing wrong with my baby <laughs> so um yeah so I was taking Fetramine until I got home and when I found out I was pregnant I stopped taking Fetramine but when I got on the scale the last time when I first found out I was pregnant and I was about five weeks I was 179 and that's coming home from vacation. I was 179. So I went from starting Fetramine at, I want to say I went to my doctor when she prescribed it to me. I was 198. I was 193 when I started it, started it when I picked up the script. So 193 to 179 in, let's count the months. So April, May, June, July, August, September. Wait, May, no. April, May, June, July. So three months, I went from 193 to 179. That's pretty decent. I mean, I'm not mad at that. Um, I'll do the total for y'all later because I don't want to be wrong. But I mean, that was a little over 15 pounds and I was feeling good. I felt great. I felt like, you know, I was trimming down. And um, so it's not fast weight loss. I mean, there are some girls that I see who are consistent and also diet along with it, who lose it a lot quicker. But I lost 15 pounds in the three months. And like I said, I was spotty taking it and I still have like 20 pills left from my 30, my third month. So um, if you are thinking about taking Fetramine, it's definitely something to kickstart your weight loss 
for me i'm pregnant now so hopefully i can uh do okay with my eating where i don't gain as much as i did with sean and um maybe be more active if that's something you guys want to see like let me know down in the comment section if you guys want to see my journey and you know watch my weight to see if we can kind of keep it at a healthy i know they said they don't want me to gain more than 20 pounds or 25 i don't know because i'm already like i mean even though i'm not as big as i was i'm still overweight so you know the recommended amount to lose um to the recommended amount to gain is not as much as your average pregnant woman so i don't know yeah if you guys want to see my journey through pregnancy like i said i'm 14 weeks today i am starting my um i am starting my second trimester right now um and little the little itty bitty baby is just growing in there and um right now i oh when i went to my doctor's appointment on the i went to my doctor's appointment when did i release that video about two weeks ago i was 187 so i am up about 10 pounds already which is you know my body it's all that extra water and blood that my body is creating to be able to sustain this little this little parasite I have growing inside of me. <laughs> so yeah, I mean, I'm not really counting that as like weight gain, weight gain, because I can still wear all my regular clothes. I'm not really uncomfortable yet. So it's probably just a lot of water and, you know, extra blood pumping through me. So yeah, that was my experience on Fetramine. And I mean, if I have Sean, I mean, if, if I have this baby and the weight doesn't come off, I would definitely try it again. I would definitely use it again. Since I had success, I would use it again. And I would recommend, you know, if you have pretty decent health, um, talk to your doctor, see what they say. Um, they usually do about three months script. Do your three months, see how it works for you. I know dieting helps to um, increase your results, your, your um, success, so yeah so like i was saying if you have any questions for me or you want to just share your results with fetramine or whatever you try to lose weight um just drop something down in the comment section but yeah i just wanted to give you guys a quick update on that but don't forget to like this video comment down below if you have something to share but um <laughs> share if you care <laughs> all that fun stuff but um yeah, I guess I'll talk to you guys later. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, turn on the bell so you can get more notifications. Um, and come back for more of my um, mommy booze if you guys are interested in hearing more about that. And yes, I did say mommy booze. B-O-O-Z-E. That is pretty much going to be my little niche for the most part. You know, me and just running around with the kids. Um, but yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye, bears.